Welcome to this edition of Santa Cruz Bass. I'm back here at Uvis. I'm not going to go down to where I usually go. I'm spending all day over on that end where that road goes in where I caught that one last time. Just like I said, it looks like a good spot. I only had not much time last time and I caught one. So I'm just going to sit there and explore it with everything I got all day long. Hope you enjoy it. Made up some new quarter ounce flipping jigs for this trip. More of the green pumpkin June bug. Been working for me in this cold, dirty water, so figured I need a few more. I've lost all the others. Got these in my arsenal for this one. Gonna pack up all my stuff and head over to the other side of the dam. New water at Uvis. See how I do. It's gonna be helpful to have these little things with me, I think. Made it down here. It's a little bit windy. It's not that bad. It's not really blowing straight into where I am. It's kind of blowing a little bit more to the left. But uh, I brought everything. Even brought my uh, bladed jig pole. Like I said, just gonna saturate this area. Just gonna stay here, camping on a point or camping on a spot. Let's see what I get. The wind's picking up. Still not that bad, but it's coming up pretty strong. I've scoured all the way back into there behind me plus this whole point with the bladed jig and the jig I just got caught up had to bust off jig number one that I just made up still haven't thrown the flick in which is what I caught the other one on but might start throwing it around now or uh, hook back up the other jig and keep throwing the jig around yeah this wind's getting bad I'm sure you can hear it all right I'm gonna get back to saturating water although it's Probably really bad wind shear. It's still flowing over the spillway. FYI. The wind has really picked up though. I came over here. I was gonna go on the backside, try to get out of it. Don't know if you can hear me right now. There's white caps out there now. Uh, I'm gonna stick it out. Hopefully it'll slow down, but it's not the best condition. A couple hours in now, and I haven't got anything. This wind is not letting up. Still some white caps. It's a really cold wind. I wanted to do some flicking. And you know, kind of focus on that. This wind, I just can't do it. Keep my line wet. I've been throwing the jig all over, over and over. Tried all around here. There's, I mean, there's good rock. I'm throwing it way out. It's just being really tough. I mean, it's cold, dirty water to begin with, and this wind ain't helping. I'm gonna keep trying. Got another couple hours, if I can last that long. Back at the car, I tried to make it the whole time. I lasted until the sun went down behind that hill. The wind didn't let up. It suddenly got really cold. My toes are stinging right now. My fingers are stinging. I really don't like winter fishing because I hate being cold. The wind did kind of set down for, I don't know, about 30 minutes. I threw the flicking all over it. Never got a bite. It's funny because the other day, I came over here for less than an hour and caught that nice, probably close to three pounder. Four and a half hours there today and not a bite. It's been cold at night it's been frosting since i was here like three days ago don't know if the water cooled off any but you know that's winter fishing cold dirty water sometimes you get that one good bite or maybe 
five good bites. And other times, you don't get jack you know what. All right, the winds are supposed to settle down after this, calm down. We're supposed to get a little bit of a warming trend. Maybe I'll give this place a couple weeks before I come back and I'll go explore some other lakes. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.